Hi everyone, it's Nancy. I am today going to do some more ink box cards uh, for Amy at Crafty Cats hashtag um, 50 stack challenge three. And a couple of video go, videos ago, I made showed you how to make collaged ink box cards and then I use the prompts and we decorate them. So I just wanted to show you right now what I'm keeping them in. Now this is just a little drawer out of a, a little uh, unit that I bought at Hobby Lobby. Now, if you have one near you, you can take a look in their, you know, wooden decor areas. I didn't paint it, it already was like this. And it already had this little pull on it and it's a set it, it was like a cabinet of these different colored drawers in them and I just bought the cabinet for the drawers only so I just put a piece of scrapbook paper on the bottom there to cover it and the ink box cards fit perfectly in there remember these are uh, three inch uh, cards here so right now this is what I'm doing with them just to keep them in here if you're not going to use them for anything specific, um, it'd be a cute way to display them. And we're only at the beginning, so it will get thicker, and then this little drawer should fill up just fine. So um, look around, you know, when you're going to a, a, hobby, um, a hobby Lobby or like a Home Goods TJ Maxx, look at their little uh, areas where they have little drawers and things like that. Uh, you might even find an acrylic one with a cute little gold handle on it if you want to use that. But yeah, I saw that, you know, I think it had about nine drawers in it. And I thought, oh, I'm just going to buy this for the drawers. So that's what I did. So I just wanted to show you um, what that is, okay? So um, ended with prompt eight. I'm going to attempt to do six prompts since I was on vacation. I usually do four at a time, but we'll try to do six. So um, number six, uh, I'm sorry, number, we ended with number eight. So number nine is cold. So I took one of my blue ones, my bluish white ones. This is pretty because there's the snow in the tree. And I have two cute little children. They all bundled up for, for winter. I have a piece of this tool. Um, if you could see it, it's uh, it has like little snow, you know, it has little flecks on it. So to me, it looks like snow. And then I die cut some snowflakes out of white um, frosted like cardstock. Okay, uh, real simple. So what I was thinking of doing. <clears throat> I wanted to put this on here. I don't mind that it hangs off the edges. I think that's kind of fun. I don't like to contain things all the time. I like things to hang off. And, you know, how do you glue this on? You know what I was going to do? I was just going to see where the kids, where I wanted the kids, and I was just going to staple it on with a tiny attacher. So I'm just going to take that. And these staples are small enough that you can, you know, do that. And it's not going to interfere with writing on the back if you so choose to use this as writing, uh, for writing. So let me just get this one on. And that's it, it's not going anywhere, see? So that was easy. And it just adds more like snow. And if you can see, it just kind of hangs off the edges here, which I like. And then I thought I would put the kids on like that. Maybe, and I'll glue them on. I wanted to do something like that. And then I thought I cut out some snowflakes and I, I wanted to hang them off the edge, make a little cluster of three, I'm guessing, is what I wanted to do here. Like that, I'll glue them on if I can. And then if I can fit a word or uh, something, a little phrase, I will. So I am going to, I think I will glue this on with my regular glue. It'll, I'll weight it down and it'll stick. I think it'll stick. I'll put it, be a little heavier on the glue here. And so I hope you're doing well. I wanted to catch up on the ink box cards on this challenge here. I'm really enjoying this. I hope if you're playing along, 
you're enjoying it as well. And if you're making ink box cards, let me know. I'd like to see what you're doing. So I'm going to put these to the side here like that. Off to the side. And I will, I will clip those on when I get done here. But we'll lay them there for now. And then I'm going to glue this big one on first. Let's see. And I want to glue it kind of off the page because, you know, I like when things hang off. So I'll just kind of do half the snowflake. Like that. I think that's fun when you hang things off the sides. And I think I'll just put this big one on the bottom. There's such little intricate pieces here so I'm gonna I think I'll glue this more towards the inside and then this little one I don't know let's see where would that look good how about right there I'll do it there like that right here yeah, that looks cute. Now, I have my Tim Holtz sticker book, Christmas sticker book here. I've had this for a couple years, so well, maybe a lot of you have it. And I was kind of pre-looking at the words here. And there's one here that says the wintry landscape. I was going to pull that off and see if I can fit that on there. Let's see if that'll go. And I, I could put it across there, or I could put it here, or right here. Yeah, and you know what? I'll just give it a little dusting here of vintage photo to kind of make it stand out against the uh, snowflake. And what I like about these ink, card, ink, ink box cards I told you is they're really quick. I, the, you know what takes the longest is finding the stuff you want to use to make it. Because once you find it, they go super quick. So the fun part and the longest part is this. Finding what you want to use to make your little scene here. Um... The other thing I thought about doing, let me see, I just thought of it now, um, and I don't know if I can, is make their little cheeks rosy. Now, I have a marker here. I don't know if it's going to work. So what I do is I put a little bit on their cheek, and then I wipe it off. Yeah, see? If you put a little bit of marker and then kind of wipe it off right away, it kind of, and you can use colored pencil, that'd be better, but I just don't, I don't um, have it right now in my reach, but that'll work as long as you get it quickly. You can, um, I don't want them to look like clowns either. I just want a little bit of color. Okay, his cheek got a little redder than I wanted, but I think, there we go, that's better. Okay, so I'll clip, I'll put a clip on here to hold this down, but, so this is number um, nine, cold, and I think, I think you kind of get the feel of cold, huh? All right, so I'm going to put that aside to dry, and then I'll show you again at the end. Number 10 is gift. So I have one of my blue, bluish white ones here. Real simple. This is super simple. I had cut this out previously out of a Daphne Diary magazine. I thought it was a cute gift. So I looked for a, one of my in, ink box cards because you know we we pre-made them. So I keep them. I keep them in here. These are my bluish white ones here. I have my red green ones here and then I have more of the neutral ones here okay so then I
decide, you know, I had this image of a gift and this one's going to be simple. I wanted, since I had blue, I wanted something from here that had more of the white so to make this pop. And it had a cup with it, but um, I took the cup off and that fell off. And then I had this little cutout of Santa and a little girl walking holding gifts. So what I'm going to do is glue it there. I'm going to pop dot a 25 off. Super simple, real easy. Um, so let's get that on there. So my attempt is to make six of these within a half an hour because I don't like to take up too much of your time. So let's get a move on here and get this on. There, just like that. Okay, and I'm going to glue this Santa on. It is fun to find the, you know, what you need to do to make these ink box cards. It's it's like a little treasure hunt. You go through your stash of things and say, hey, what can I use to make, make a card that says present? So to me, there's a giant present. There's Santa carrying a present and also a little girl. And then I had this 25, this Tim Holtz 25. I'm going to put a sticky foam dot on the back here. And then the other thing, just to give it a little more oomph, I'm going to put that right here because you get presents on the 25th. I mean, I have my silver, you know, gel pen here. You can always like highlight in here. Make some lines here. Follow the curve. And that kind of adds a little more interest and dimension. So don't be afraid to pull out your um, gold and silver pens. And I don't, you probably can't see it. Yeah, maybe you can see it on the camera, but to me that tells me present you get presents on the 25th and I'm done with that one so that's pretty easy too now the next one is number 11 and that's bell so here's my idea for bell when I when I read bell I said oh every time a bell rings an angel gets its wings right so I took one of my more neutral cards and I knew I had the cutout of the bells, and I have this awesome Christmas doll uh, digital. It is Christmas dolls, and they're from Amy at Crafty Cat, so I will link her Etsy shop below, and it's a really nice digital of like vintage heads with vintage bodies and all kind of ephemera, angel wings, things like that. So um, I'm going to show you I cut out a body. I'm going to glue this head on here like this. All right, and then first I'm going to glue my bells on in the upper corner because I knew that's where I wanted it. <clears throat> so let me get that here. Okay, and then I want it to make her an angel so I cut her out cut her body off and then I want to glue her wings on so let me get some wings on her here just put them on like that and there's different wings in the kit they're bigger all kind of you get a lot to pick from you can make all kind of Christmas dolls. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can make all kind of Christmas dolls. So I was going to put her on here. We'll cut, end up cutting off more, more of her body. But I wanted to add some more something. So I have some more little tickets from Tim Holtz. So I thought I could just make a little collage of three of them here at the bottom just to give the tag a little more interest. And it doesn't take up a lot. 
a lot of time. And you know how when you buy things, you just want to hoard them. And it's like, I need to start using the Tim Holtz stuff that I bought. Now I'm going to lay it here on the corner and I'm going to cut that little edge off here around the corner. If I can do that here. There we go. So there. And then I'm going to put this one, if I can pick it up. I'm going to put this one here, I think. Let's see. Just for some, I think I'm going to put it over. And then I was going to put this darker one here. Let's see how that looks. Just for some interest. Yeah, something like that. Let me get this one down first. Okay, and then one more. And I'm going to overlap that one there. Okay, now let's see how we're going to put her on here. I'm going to put her here like this. So it just kind of adds a little something there, okay? So by looking at this, I can turn it over. I can take my pencil and just kind of trace about where I'm going to cut her off so I know where to put my glue. So now I know not to put glue over there. I can just put it everywhere else. So I hope everybody's doing well. What are you crafting? Are you crafting fall? Are you still trying to hang on to summer? Um, are you doing the Christmas? Well, I'm doing this and I am, let me put this on this way. Sometimes it's better to work this way and then pick it up. There we go. Perfect. Um, yeah, I'm into the Halloween and I'm doing, this is my Christmas. This is what I'm doing Christmas for now um, because Amy had started it. And now I'm going to cut this off here. But I am ready for Halloween. There's some really nice projects coming out from other makers. And I started, if you didn't notice, I did start uh, a, a flip-flop journal with Amy's new Spooky. And then I have a couple other, I have a fall tea journal started. I'll show you. So I have some nice projects coming up. Okay, so there's the bell. See how it, those little tickets, just by adding those three, kind of added some interest. Um, and, you know, I couldn't find the saying about, you know, when a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. Um, so I was wondering if there was something here in this book that we could, that we could um, put on here something about bell well ring the joy bells we could do that what else is there here without taking too much time hear the angels sing how about that one let me see how that one looks hear the angels sing oh yeah that's pretty okay i'll just give it a little dusting of vintage photo and then we'll put some glue Okay, and then we'll put that right here, right there. And then I'm going to use my gold pen to, um, I'm going to highlight the little bell ringer, the balls there. And I thought I could highlight her wings. That would be pretty. like that so just a little bit of something and then I could even go as far as to highlight the words here and I don't draw straight and perfect so let's just do some fun random lines around it and it's okay if we go off the border now that that's kind of cute just a little bit of gold 
right? Can you see that? All right, so that's bell, okay? Now, number 12 is ribbon. Now, this is another simple one. So I took a piece of, you know, one of the ink box cards. It was from the middle section with the reds and the greens and all. I had this ribbon off of something, so I tied it in a bow around the card. And I thought, well, I like that. Slide it on, and I can even fix my tail here because I pulled on it like that. And I want it to the side. And I picked it because it has black in it, and this part here shows a lot of the black here. And once again, I have two little Tim Holtz tag things, little bits here. And this is another just a cut out of a yarn ornament from a Daphne's diary. And I thought, well, what if I glued that on there? Like it's hanging from there off center like that, just to give it interest. But it definitely reads ribbon because the ribbon is, um, you know, the main thing. Even though I put the ornament on, that's okay. I think it looks super cool like that. So let me just get a little... I have a little green, oh my gosh, so tiny, these little labels from him. And then another one. So what I'm going to do is I will glue that ribbon on. And I'm going to glue these little labels on. I mean, this was like so easy to do. Just a plain little label like that. And then another one to go on top, kind of off-center. I was just going to put that here because it's green. It picks up the green. Just something simple. And then I was going to glue this on. So if you get your magazines, any kind of magazines, uh, look at the images that are in there because you might want to use them. I just cut them out when I feel like it and stack them up and look through them. Look how cute that is. And then I'll probably use, I'll just put some fabric tack under there and then stick that on. So that's ribbon. That's what the um, deal is on this one. The next one is called wreath. So let me show you what I did here. I took one of my bluish cards, more on the white side. So I picked that one. And I took one of the Tim Holtz little dolls, this lady. She looks like she's sitting on something. I had a little ribbon with some little uh, stars on it. This is a little faux greeting. It says holiday greeting. That's a Tim Holtz piece. And what I did was I took a piece of cardboard, cut a circle, and I used um, my Tim Holtz that I bought probably years ago, and I haven't used them yet from Hobby Lobby. This is Tim Holtz tinsel, and I wrapped the cardboard circle around and glued that and made myself a wreath. And I thought, well, that lady, she could sit on the wreath holding some stars and the banners. So, um I, it's going to be very dimensional. I did flatten it down, but it's okay. I love dimension. Sometimes things are good flat. Sometimes things are better dimensional. So I'm going to use my fabric tack glue, and I am going to put it on here for now. And that's going to take a little time to dry, but that's okay. And I'm going to kind of off-center it because I like things off center. I don't like everything in the middle. And I'm going to glue her on sitting in the wreath here. So I'm gonna probably use some more fabric tack to make her stick to this. Hope I don't get it on her. So let's see how that goes. Okay. Not sure if I'm getting it where it needs to be, but it's going to work. And I'm going to put her sitting here like that. Okay. Let me get a 
tissue here and wipe my hand. All right, and then I wanted to put this banner across her here. So let's see, I think I really don't want to chance the fabric tack for fear I'll get it everywhere. So I'm just going to glue this like this and I'll set it aside to dry. But I'm going to put that here. Okay, and that will dry, hopefully clear. All right, so then I have the three puffy stars. I wanted to put one of her holding one here, so I'm going to attempt the fabric tack here because that will work best. But you can use regular glue too. It's just I have this, so I want to use it. So I want her to like hold a star there, and then I'm just going to take another one. I should use my tweezers. I'm going to put one here, right there, like that. Okay. And then I'm going to put one more. So far, so good. I should use my little tweezers here. And I'm going to put one right there and I'm going to let her dry I'll probably clip her on oh you know what else I was going to do let me close this up um, one other thing that I bought that I was hoarding that I need to not hoard anymore is um, Tim Holtz remnant rubs now it's probably too late if they've done this before but we'll see let's see if I can incorporate one of these here um, hmm. there is a word here that's a star of wonder. I wonder if I could get in there and cut that out. Let's see how that goes. It's the first time using them. So I'm going to cut it out carefully. And we're going to attempt to use it. Now that I've glued everything on, which, oh, you know, I'll just use the words. Let's see how this works. So this will be a first. Okay, take it off the backing. I was going to put it up here like that and then rub it on with the stick they give you. Peel it off. Let's see if I did it right. Did I? Nope, not sticking. Turn it. I guess you have to give it a good rub. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah. Is it working? Oh, the word of is not coming off. Oh, I'm really rubbing pretty hard. Is it working now? Nope. All right, come on, got to work now. No, the word of, it's not working. Okay, hold on. How much harder do you have to rub? Wow. Now, gosh darn it. Oh, come on, this has to work. The word of does not want to come off. Let's see here. Now it's, okay, now it's working. It's just being stubborn here, sorry. Yeah, yep, there we go. All right, Star of Wonder. All right, I'm gonna, not going to touch it because I want to keep touching it and I'm going to ruin it. So there's my Star of Wonder, the prompt is wreath, okay? The last one is, I'm caught up, it's Holiday Decoration. So... I picked this card here, and this is another uh, little image from Daphne's Diary. It's a wooden crate with a bunch of holiday decor in there. 
So I thought, oh, I'm going to use that. That looks pretty nice on there. So let me, and I know some of it hangs off, and I might end up cutting that sooner or later. But for now, let's just see how it looks. I'm just going to get it on. I might leave it the way it is, hanging off. Okay, so I'm going to put it kind of off center here, like that. Okay, so I thought, well, that's cute enough. I might cut it off. We'll see. I'm going to leave it for now. Um, oops, I wanted to put this. This has got red and green on it. Where did I want to put this? Here? Maybe I did. Yeah, I think I wanted to put it there. Hello. Got to remember what do you want to put down before you put the main, before you put the main image down. Okay, I can still do it though. Just to give a little more interest, some words on there, so that's good. And then I have these, um, I wanted to make some dimension. I have these flat back pearls. So I'm just going to glue these on with some regular glue. And over here and on this one here. So I'm going to attempt to do this with my hands. You know how that's not going to work, right? So I'll get my sticky tool here and put it on here. Okay, that looks good there. And then the green one I'll put over here. And then the white one I'll put down here. So I wanted to add more to it. So I'm going to get my gold pen out here because it looks like there's lights on the trees. And I'm going to go over these little balls here. And they're going to glisten like there's lights on. So this is my box of holiday decorations. And I can put more here. And here's a star I can go around here. So really kind of simple, don't you think? But they're just fun. They're like it, it's like an instant gratification type project it's not hard it doesn't take up a lot of time and you have some really cute cute ideas here i'm just adding more so there looks like there's more lights all over like that yeah i think that's good so let me pull them all in and give you a, another look here. So number nine was cold. So here's my cold, okay? And then number 10 is gift. So I did that, remember we added silver in that bowl, gift. And then number 11 was bell. And I put here the angels sing and I thought right away of Every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. So there's pretty gold on there. And then um, number 12 was ribbon. So I'm going to, I still have to put some fabric tack under there, but I think that looks super cute. Ribbon. And then 13 is wreath. This one has to sit. I think it's kind of fun. Um, but that's a cute one too. And then I'm up to date with number 14, holiday decoration, my little wooden crate of lights and boughs and little decoration pieces. So I hope you enjoy that. Just, you know, they are fun. They are super fun. To me, it's like eating potato chips. Just can't stop at one. So you make them and then you're going to stack them in a cute little wooden drawer or whatever you find. And you're going to just have fun you know, looking at them and seeing the dimension on them, things like that. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let me know in the comments and have a blessed day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.